Welcome to the podcast. My name is Dr. Noor Gajraj. Let's talk about GLP-1 agonists, a revolution in metabolic health. The gut hormone effect, mechanism of action. GLP-1 stands for glucagon-like peptide 1. It's a hormone naturally produced in the gut in response to eating. GLP-1 receptor agonists are synthetic compounds that mimic the action of this natural hormone. They bind to GLP-1 receptors, sending powerful signals to multiple organs. Their mechanism of action primarily revolves around regulating glucose, homeostasis and appetite. GLP-1 agonists and blood sugar control. GLP-1 agonists are highly effective at controlling blood sugar through several coordinated actions. Increased insulin release. Critically, GLP-1 agonists stimulate the pancreas to release more insulin, but only when blood sugar levels are high. This glucose-dependent mechanism helps the body use sugar for energy or store it without causing low blood sugars. Decreased glucagon secretion. Glucagon is a hormone that raises blood sugar. GLP-1 agonists suppress glucagon secretion, which prevents the liver from producing excessive sugar, especially between meals. Blood, beyond blood sugar, additional health benefits. The benefits of GLP-1 agonists extend beyond glucose control and weight loss. Cardiovascular benefits. Some studies suggest these drugs have protective effects against heart attacks, strokes and sudden death in diabetics, improved insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. By addressing the root of metabolic issues, they help restore the body's sensitivity to insulin. Reduced liver fat accumulation. This is particularly beneficial for treating non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD. Kidney protection. Research is exploring their beneficial effects on kidney function, which often declines with age. Neuroprotective effects. Emerging research is exploring potential benefits for brain health. These are the available GLP-1 receptor agonists, including semaglutide and terzepazide. Semaglutide, popularity and versatility. Semaglutide has become perhaps the most widely recognized GLP-1 receptor agonist due to its versatility and high efficacy. Ozempic, once weekly injection, primarily for type 2 diabetes. Wegovi, once weekly injection approved for chronic weight management, often prescribed at a higher dose than Ozempic. Ribelsis, the first GLP-1 receptor agonist available as a once-daily oral tablet for type 2 diabetes. This formulation significantly improves patient adherence for those averse to injections. The next generation, terzepazide, a dual agonist mechanism, Terzepazide is unique because it is a dual agonist activating both the GLP-1 and the GIP, which is the glucose-dependent insulinotrophic polypeptide receptors. Enhanced efficacy. This dual action provides significantly enhanced efficacy for both blood sugar control and weight loss compared to GLP-1 agonists alone. Munjaro, once weekly injection for type 2 diabetes. Zepbound, once weekly injection approved for chronic weight management. Common side effects, gastrointestinal issues, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, abdominal pain, and in indigestion. Headache, reduced appetite, injection site reactions. Management of side effects, which are primarily gastrointestinal. Most gastrointestinal side effects are temporary and tend to improve. 
start low and go slow. Medications are typically initiated at a low dose and gradually increased to allow the body to adapt. Eat smaller meals, consume smaller portions and eat more frequently throughout the day. Avoid trigger foods, limit or avoid high fat, greasy, fried and over spicy foods, which can exacerbate nausea. Stay hydrated, drink plenty of water and clear liquids, especially if experiencing diarrhea or vomiting to prevent dehydration. Eat bland foods, opt for bland, low fat, as easily digestible foods like crackers, bananas or rice when feeling nauseated. Avoid eating before bed. Wait at least two to three hours after eating before lying down. Address constipation, increase fluid and fiber intake and ensure adequate physical activity. Over the counter remedies, ginger or peppermint tea may help alleviate nausea. Well, thanks for listening to this talk. I hope you have found it informative. Please consider buying my new book, 100 Pathways to Longevity, and to subscribing to this channel. Thank you again.